melanoma brain metastases have really been one of the biggest limitations to the, the overall survival and a lot of the mortality and morbidity that remains with melanoma. So both checkpoint inhibitors and targeted therapies do reach the brain, but they reach the brain and they're effective in the brain to a lower degree than they are in the systemic disease. So when you have systemic melanoma, there are different sites of the body that are more or less responsive to immune checkpoint inhibition. So the lungs and the lymph nodes are very immune responsive versus an area like the liver or the adrenal glands tend to be less immune responsive. Well, the least immune responsive place tends to be the brain because of the mechanisms at keeping things outside of the blood brain barrier space. And so though these checkpoints do work in the brain, even dual checkpoint inhibition, which is considered the sort of gold standard first line therapy for metastatic melanoma using a drug like apilumumab and nivolumab um, is only about 50% effective in the brain. Now, when that happens, that's great. But even in the patients who see a benefit to it, that's the first place they often lose responsive checkpoint. So even in patients that have that effect inside of their brain that then receive dual checkpoint or targeted therapy, they often either progress in the brain before they progress in their systemic system. Or what we'll see sometimes in melanoma specifically is patients will have no evidence of disease systemically and will develop brain metastases while they're on treatment. So these are patients that are receiving a checkpoint inhibitor or targeted therapy where all of their disease sites are controlled outside of the brain, but the brain uniquely is progressing. So sometimes we'll have to add things like directed therapies with either surgery or focused radiation in the form of stereotactic radiosurgery. But even with now triple therapy, so a targeted therapy plus SRS or, tar or immunotherapy plus SRS, the likelihood that you'll have a new event inside of your brain is 50% in the first year. So that means even with the absolute maximum amount of therapy that we can do and do for patients that have brain metastases for melanoma, one in two of them are going to deal with this problem again, even in that first year after therapy. So we really need to find something that's unique to the brain or a therapy that's unique to being able to have access and, and treatment in the brain to add to what we're already doing that could then improve upon how patients are going to deal with this treatment.